Grace Harbor College in the blue, and Illinois, the Red Hawks in the orange. Holy Avocado is going to kick that one wide, but then drop off, giving possession to Ghost. Interesting tactic, but a lot of confidence already coming in from Illinois. Shot goes up, tap over to Flash. It's just a little bit wide. AJ's on that one, kicks it up the wall, going to follow. Bit of a stumble, loses possession to Holy Avocado. 50 on the wall goes in favor of Illinois. AJ kicks it up and over. Going to follow it with a second touch. Looks like Shadow is in position. Just a little bit high. Oh, that was Ghost. Sorry. Shadow is back. Third player back. Doesn't get the touch. Flash is going to dunk it underneath. And Illinois is on the board 35 seconds into the game. Yeah, this was a good setup by Illinois. Holy Avocados passed it right in front of the goal, right in front of Flash. And that was really good communication by them. And Flash just bumped it in. So now it's 1-0 to zero with Illinois in the lead. Slow start to this second section. Ooh, almost. Ball kind of hanging in air in the midfield. Shadow giving a bump to see Petty. Maybe creates an opportunity. Ghost can't quite capitalize on it. And Illinois gets a second to reconfigure themselves. Shot off the sidewall. Open to Ghost. Going to kick it up high. That looks like a pass. Avocado can clear that with his eyes closed. Ghost going to follow. Gets beat by Flash. AJ pass out to Shadow. Shot is wide. Sidebar sees that. Takes it out of the way. AJ pushing up daisies thanks to Flash. Illinois looking pretty confident and comfortable. Abby, I'm not seeing Grace Harbor dig in too heavy on these commits. You know, they'll send one striker up. But they're not sending a second one for a quick follow-up. They are... They are staying well spaced out. What uh, what do you think the plan is here? I think Grace Harbor is, like I've said, you know, I'm going to say it again. The first round is always the feel around. You see how the mm -hmm. opponents react to different plays, different hits, different angles. And I think Grace Harbor is trying to space themselves out to see how Illinois will react to that. And they're going to react to that by taking advantage of holes in the defense like that one right there. Gorgeous pass from Sapetti. Holy Avocado sends it up top center. 2-0 over the Chokers. Heading up towards halftime. Chokers don't really have an answer. They are still in that early phase, you know, trying to figure out how the other team's going to play. Poor KJ, just getting picked on by Flash. Did we get a ref over here? I think we got some bullying. Uh, kick out to Flash. Not a great 50 coming in. And, I mean, we've seen, we've seen GHC struggle with 50s. We've also seen him dominate. But it seems like they're not quite getting, uh, getting their purchase on these 50-50s. Ooh, shot coming in from Sapetti, and it's going to find its mark. Holy cow. Illinois is starting to run away with this game. Yeah, this was, again, great teamwork by Illinois. It was a great setup by Flash, right in front of the goal, right in front of Sapetti, and that's all they needed. Now it's 3-0 with the winner pass. You know, during the break, oh, go ahead, uh, Dragon. Uh, they've had the ball control this whole game, waiting for their opportunity. Oh, there we go. Got a start. And there's an opportunity. What? How did this even happen? I, I, I <laughs> leap at the wheel for a second. Oh, yeah, just a mess. Double commit coming in from Illinois. Shadow's going to capitalize on that. Nice to see the chokers. Oh, Make that commitment to getting that goal. They're they're not they're not done for yet. They're still in this. Whiff or a fake from Shadow, hard to tell. Ghost sends it back to KJ, kicking it up the side while looking to make an approach. There was only one defender back. But lost that 50-50, sends it back into the corner for the chokers. Pass out to Avocado. It's 
just a little bit high. Holy Avocado's there to follow up, but Ghost beats him. He's gonna try to muscle that around Flash. Wins the 50, but gets a couple of bruises for his trouble. Nice big clear coming in from Illinois as they look to convert on this. Into the shadow, Ooh. Demo's coming in. Flash is dangerous. Uh, maybe he thinks he's playing Mad Max Road Warrior here. Making good use of those demos. Exposing some vulnerabilities here in GHC. Off the backboard, coming in for a double touch, doesn't get it. Ooh, KJ right, returns the favor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pressure mounting from Illinois. 46 seconds left. The Chokers need two goals. Ghost playing for possession there. Soft clear, tried to follow it up. Illinois are getting those challenges. They're getting in front of the Chokers. And they're, they're hitting hard. Petty just throws that ball downfield into the choker half. Up and over. Ghost doesn't connect. Holy Avocado muscles it out. Shot, but it's wide. Ghost back going for a second touch. As we are down to the last couple of seconds, it looks like round one is going to fall to Illinois. Taking an early lead, but not entirely uncontested. Definitely some complaints from the chokers and some work for them to do to clean up. Abby, what does the scoreboard and what do the stats tell you about game number one? Well, the stats first off, Grace Harbor did have more shots on goal than Illinois, but Illinois has such a great defense that they had eight saves out of yeah, there were plenty of shots coming in from Grace Harbor. Speaking of shots, we are in game two. This is a best of five. You gotta win three games to take the series. Shot coming in from Sepetti. Oh my goodness, nobody is home. 11 seconds into game number two. This is not a good look for Grace Harbor. That was a pretty good pass. It was a very good pass. You saw Flash pass it up to Sepetti. And then Flash even met the, met the ball at the goal just to make sure that it went in. Strong start from the Red Hawks. Chased by Ghost, gonna take one out. Pass off the backboard, is anybody there to follow up? Ghost takes out another one. And Ooh. Shadow is gonna capitalize on that. If they won't get out of the way, get them off the field with a demo. That's the way to do it, and it was a good strategy. That's one way to get ball control. Get rid of the other team. That's honestly my favorite way to have ball control. I'm a big demo fan. <laughs> Ghost wins the kickoff, or maybe that was Illinois sending it to that C. Petty in the back corner. KJ following this up. Avocado picks it up, picks it over to Flash. Bounce off the corner. Pressure coming in. Ghost was in a bad, bad spot for making that clear. Made it anyway, it worked out, but uh, a little bit risky. Nice ball handling, sends a pass out mid. Sepetti's gonna take, no! Ghost takes out Avocado. Demo's coming in from the chokers. Ghost almost Very getting close. that shot on net. Just a, a little bit of a bad touch. Shadow taking out Avocado. I think the smoke detector's about to go off in here. <laughs> ball kicked out mid. Shot off the backboard. Flash is going to clear that one off to the side. Avocado sends it even further into the corners. Flash taking that ball upfield. 50 from Avocado sends it to the mid. Shadow's got it. A lot of very short possession plays coming out of both teams here. Those demos announced the gloves are off. Illinois having quite a bit more trouble putting on that pressure, getting those confident shots. Grace Harbor no longer giving them the space that they gave them in game number one. Morning shot coming in from Illinois. KJ's in net, easy clear. Pass upfield to Ghost. KJ goes up for the shot, but Ghost loses possession. Shadows the last one back, goes in early, net is open. Illinois not in a position to capitalize. Healing pass coming down, over to Flash, sent away. Nice read by Ghost. KJ kicks it out, gets it almost over. 
That was a dangerous ball there for a second. Just like that one right there. Oh, you take enough shots on that, oh, eventually one of them is gonna get through. The yeah, this was a great wall wall bounce pass by Flash. And I noticed that Flash tends to do a lot of the setups for almost every single one of Illinois' goals. Yeah, it's almost like Illinois is really comfortable with that third player back also being the striker up front. Uh, you know, both C. Petty and Avocado able to run up front. And just like that, C. Petty's going to cruise to the third goal for ISU. Abby, unpack this for me. What's happening? I think that Grace Harbor is trying to be more aggressive than they were the first round, and it's kind of stabbing them in the back when it comes to their defense, which is why that was such an easy goal for Cipetti. Nice block from Cipetti. Illinois, even when they've got no boost in the tanks, able to make that presence felt on the field, every single one of their players. They they are truly exceptional players. It is, it is nice watching them play. I just wish they were not playing our team right now because <laughs> they're just some quality rotations i mean they're very clean uh even even when the pressure comes in from the chokers in in front of the net on their side they're still absolutely thick and span c petty passes off to flash goes back for more boost shot on net coming in from flash and i did not see that coming three point advantage for illinois yeah, that was a great setup by C. Petty. They passed it right to Flash. Flash did a wall pass to themselves and then just bounced it right into the goal. That's four to one, and I'm starting to see why they're five to zero overall. Yeah, it's really clinical play. KJ up for that. Goes wide. C. Petty bangs it on net. Ghost is there. Gets the save. Follows it up. Doesn't get the second touch. Oh, and it is just wide. That would have been a hell of a shot. Flash is up. Going to send this out as a pass. No, he's going for the shot. Ooh. It's cleared by KJ. Nice work from our third player. But the shots just keep coming. Pass from Cipetti. It's kicked out. Ghost and Shadow now watching these passing plays develop. They are not going to let them take care of their challenges are coming in almost immediately. Petty misses that touch on the ground. Opportunity for Ghost. Flash catches it, counters it. Following that ball into the corner. 53 seconds left, three points down. Not looking good for Grace Harbor, but hey, Ghost is gonna pick up an go. easy shot. Nobody home for Illinois. Gotta punish those openings when you see them, Abby. Yeah, this was a great goal because in Rocket League, if you leave even a spot open on your goal, the other team's gonna go for it. That's exactly what happened, and that's why it's 2 4 with Illinois leading. Nice kickoff from Shadow. Ghost's gonna follow that up. Shot on net. It's cleared away by Avocado. Shadow again kicking it wide. Beat by Avocado. Gets the ball over. AJ following it through the corner. E Petty passes it out mid. Shadow picks that up. Shadow gets killed by C Petty. Call of Duty out here. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> yeah. I, I like demos, but demos aren't goals. You know? I mean, sometimes I wish demos Personal were goals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Block hits zero. Ball still up in the air, but this game is in the bag as Illinois is going to take game number two in this series. Abby, I gotta ask, you know, start strong start. What went wrong for the chokers? Um, I think this round they tried to be way more aggressive than they should have been, which is why their goal was left open a lot. And the shots on goal for Illinois um really reflects that because they got a lot of shots on goals. They they got four goals overall, which was really good for them. A little bit too aggressive. We need to find a little bit of a mix between that and the game before. Uh, I, I'm going to disagree with the both of you. I like the aggression that I'm seeing out of them. The demos, I think, throw Illinois off of those clinical rotations. They just need to execute on defense. 
Keep the aggression, clean up the defense half. Healing oh, shot coming in from Ghost. <laughs> Kicks it out, Avocado shot on net. KJ clears that ball, goes back on the near post rotation. D Petty out to flash, blocked. What a great read. Avocado coming in with a that shot off the nice backboard, ball. sidewall actually. Avocado's got an open net, or Shadow's got an open net. Nobody's home into the Ooh. lower left. Brilliant capitalization. Yeah, this was a great shot for Shadow because KJ set it up. They got it out of our goal and just Shadow basically just drove it right into the goal, which was great. So now it's one to zero with Grace Harbor in the lead. Beautiful ball control. I think that's the first lead we have seen from Grace Harbor this whole series. And I hope it's not the last. Shadow kicks it up wide over mid, pass out to mid player. Going to try to follow that up with a ground pinch. Doesn't get it. But keeping that ball in play despite having nothing but fumes in the tank. Uh, Ghost now coming in. Drops that ball, clears on out of there, lets Illinois reconfigure. Really? Maybe? No? Okay. Keeping the ball in play. This is some some chaos magic. I don't know if you saw WandaVision, but that's that's what we got going on here. A nice bump play. Didn't finish, but like Grace Harbor getting creative at building these openings. Illinois is not slipping up, and so Grace Harbor is, is moving them out of the way. Oh, C. Petty coming out of nowhere to tap that in on the left side, equalizing three and a half minutes left in the game. Yeah, this was a great shot by Illinois again. And I think Flash is a very key point in their team because Flash has set up almost every single goal that I've seen so far from Illinois. So I think it'd be a pretty good play to kind of immobilize Flash. Another ceiling shot from Ghost. Doesn't get it cleared from the choker half. AJ gonna follow, Miss touch means that it falls to Ghost. Open net, Avocado's gonna be able to nudge that one in. Shadow just could not get there in time. Yeah, this was a great play by Avocados because, <laughs> excuse me, they waited for Grace Harbor to drive right past them and then they bumped it into the goal, which is very smart. I think that's why I like the demos so much. There's an awful lot of patience from Illinois. They are very careful. They do not commit unless there's a threat. But when Grays Harbor gets in there and scrambles them, mixes things around, bumps a goalie or demos someone, their, their clinical play starts to fall apart pretty quickly, almost sneaking that one in. Uh, nice plays from Illinois. Both Shadow and Ghost doing an amazing job of reading those before they materialize. Not sure how Avocado managed to pull off that recovery. Oh! Very close. That was very close. Uh, th one of the things that makes Illinois so terrifying is they are threatening from nearly every angle. They may not have the accuracy, but they put shots on net. And, uh, you know, enough shots turn into goals. Flash going for the uh, crazy angle play. Not that far off either. C. Petty kicks it up wide. This is that pass we're talking about. Avocado doesn't get it on target, but yet again, another credible shot coming in from Illinois. Two minutes left in the game. Joker's down by one and at risk of losing this series in a sweep. Looking for that second goal. They've got plenty of time on the clock, but now's the time for blueprints. They need to be coming up with those plans. The Avocado sends it back out to see Petty. Didn't get the memo in time. Manages to fumble it a little bit. Can't get it past KJ. Shadow ready for it, but in a compromised position. Flash is gonna capitalize on that. It's another day at the office for this man. He sees the ball, he dunks the ball, he clocks out and goes home. Yeah, this was, you could see C. Petty just tapping it right above Grays Harbor and just enough that Flash was able to make it connect. That's three to one with a minute and a half left. Definitely looking grim for Grace Harbor. Ghost can kick that one up high. Shadow looking for the intercept, possibly to drop it off the backboard for KJ, who is there. Sends it on and it Ooh. is in. This is the team plays for days that I have been asking for. Yeah, you could see Ghost just drop it down right in front of the goal. And even though Illinois managed to bump it away slightly, 
AJ was right there saying, I'm just gonna get this, and so now it's two to three with a minute and a half left. Shot coming in from Flash, cannot get there in time. One more for Little Illinois, two. two goal deficit. Oh, I... wow, that, that had some momentum for being that weird of a hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Flash Ghost saw like... the threat, but not fast enough. Go, Abby. Sorry, I was gonna say, Flash is a very diverse player. I've seen them be aggressive, defensive, set up plays, make their own goals. I think Flash is the one to look out for. Flash is the one to demo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want you on my rocket dragon. Slowing it down, have a cut. He's on one end of it. Mm -hmm. KJ meets that up in the corner, trying to keep that ball on Illinois' half. Avocado, big kick out to Cipede. He goes for the redirect, but a pass down to oh, Flash. Man. That, that was, was a, a gorgeous play, pass. and it breaks my heart to see it. Yeah, all three of Illinois' players work together on this. They pass it from downfield, dropped it down in front of the goal, and Flash just bumped it right in. It's the plays you hate to see if you're on the opponent's team. If you're going Petty against Petty up, goes for the redirect wide. Ghost doesn't quite get the clear that he's looking for. Kicking it out mid. Flash is going to see that. Keeping that ball in play. Going for the assist from the near post. That's a mechanically difficult shot and it tells me that Illinois is feeling very comfortable and playful. And why not? They've got 10 seconds left. They're up by three. This looks like a clean sweep over Grace Harbor. Flash kicking it up and wide. Ball out in the middle. It has not dropped yet. They're keeping it live. Rule one or rule two, depending on, on which side of the religious debate you fall on for what that, that rule is. Good game, well played. Hats off to Illinois. Abby, take us through the final scoreboard. Well, Illinois, not shockingly, had 12 shots on goal, which is great because that means that Grace Harbor managed to either block or Illinois was off uh, seven times, which is really good for Grace Harbor, but overall Illinois pulled it out. And a big hats off to them because that's a great game to play.